Hi traders, a uh, pretty sloppy day with uh, the Fed day at the end of the day. So we've just got a lot of, of chop. I do wish I had put an order in the book for this pound yen. Because um, that spiked down really, really nicely and, and got bought. And here we are. Yeah, nice buying pattern here. Um, yeah, I, I bought into these lows and uh, just holding holding overnight waiting to see if we can close above this R1 and get going to 145 at least so we'll look at the dailies in a minute a uh, couple of stop outs I took a hammer in the 60 minute uh, US dot Swissy looked good it was triggered and then uh, within the next hour it's a weak close and then wham okay so um, I thought that was you know, it's extreme RSI, gap to the 8, fulfilled the criteria but it just didn't work. Took uh, the pound US dollar up from uh, this about 750, roughly 750 and took that up to 800 and left it. So success, got another stock out in the Aussie US. This looked really strong. Um, where was it? I think I got in around about here. Uh, massive support here, and it just didn't work. And here we are, holding at 104. Um, I also traded oil. And what I did, well, I actually shorted it. Yeah, it was massive resistance there. And where are we? Um, I shorted it in here, but it's, this took it off down here because it's just massive support, and it just um, smaller time frames were showing buying patterns, so I just took it off. For just a few few points, not very much. And what else did I do? Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, we've got to stop to other CAD Swissy. But let's just go to the dailies now. Uh, stop to other CAD Swissy on the break of that bar up there anyway. But um, huge sell off, huge huge sell off, massive support here, and we finally cracked today. Right, Dow is, has got half an hour to go to the close, and we've had weak GDP today, so I, that R3 has got sold into, and we need to see how that closes, but I will start to look for uh, shorts up here, uh, extreme RSI, so um, I'll, I'll wait to see what the bar's like, but uh, it's looking increasingly like that needs to be shorted. Here's the pound to US dollar. Really nice couple of days trading on this one. Uh, that is a buy at, let me just check what that price is. 157.75. Let me keep that in. In fact, let me put an alert there. Uh, that is a, a good trade you have to have a 100 plus point stop but we do that's yeah, a nice couple of days buying there the pound is back in favor pound yen right under that um, monthly r1 I think this will break uh, I don't know for sure but we've certainly had a lot of touches we've had two days touch there another touch there and this is the this is effectively the fourth or fifth touch. So I'm looking for that to break and to get above that level there. Uh, if you want to try and get a pullback, I would suggest you try and buy, see if we get uh, 13980. I don't think it will pull back any further. And uh, Pelsley Dollar has had a m massive move. This, this, is, this is definitely good for a pullback. 
uh, if you see this level here, huge support here, lovely little um, stopping bar here into resistance. We pull right back to retest the stopping bar and we have moved up. So, very, very nice technical move here. If you see 15150, that is a buy, but your stop's going to have to be 15030 euro. Um, that's a good close. That is a good close. I was thinking this may sell off, but uh, it's holding up. So we look as if we are going to attack that channel up there. So if you're going to pull back to 13550, uh, let's see if again it can need a big stop let's see if this can wiggle its way up now basically we had strong US jobs data but weak GDP so a little bit of a conflict in data so we are seeing um, you know, slightly wobbly charts in some respects uh, Euro CAD I did do a short on this one and I took it off, I know, so I've got a stop to break even, but we were close higher, so um, there's a nice stopping bar, but there's massive resistance there at 136, and the 60 minute chart did sell off, but uh, it pulled right back again. Got CAD GDP tomorrow, so that might be another one to watch. Okay, gold had a good, I missed the gold, that's a shame. Um, yeah, a nice hammer there a couple of days back and that has given me a push right back into monthly I think this is back in play yeah if we can pull back to 1650 I think we can get back up here and this is looking like a nice W pattern and oil decent close nice just under 98 there, really nice move. So uh, we are very extended, really extended. But uh, all pullbacks are, are bought. You get a decent pullback in that to 97.60, 97.50. That could well do it. Right, UK stocks, so, uh, Tesco's. That's I would be I ramp up my stop on that. That is a very negative bar. Vodafone had another good day. It's holding up well. Excite is holding up well. Sainsbury's is weak. Rolls Royce sideways. Premier Foods is back in play. If we break, it take an order in there for 97.60 with a stop under 95.70. I will now see if that can go. M&S was held up okay. General had a slight increase, but, I don't know, it's, it's showing a plus in my list, but it's showing a red bar in the chart, so I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, first group, right, move r slam right up, and it's come right back to support. But the FTSE is, you yeah, know, that's a negative bar on the FTSE, so and we are very extended, so we are seeing some profit taking here. Sentiment had a great day. That's uh, we got a pull back to 54. That's a good place to get in, but you've got to be careful because there's a court case coming up, so be warned. Um, Balfour BT is just selling off. Uh, I would keep an eye on Balfour BT because if that gets back to let's put that an alarm on here. If we get back to this level here. I would be a buyer of that one. Uh, US stocks, anything of note. Uh, VZ continues to move higher. Rim is, ooh, nasty drop to rim, but uh, I've got a gap there at 13.57. Have a look out for that gap. Nvidia, slight drop, nuance. Holding up okay, not brilliant. And uh, look at Facebook, it continues to do well. 
That's holding up. Chesapeake. Whoa. It's gapped up, but it's um, sold. So that's a gap play. Either, well, she's, either way we break out of that, that gap bar is the um, potential move. Right, that's it. Uh, Apple's had a sideways day. So that's it, and uh, see you in the next update.